let's restore an old compass all right thanks for watching um i was at a yard sale picked up all this stuff here for like three bucks um got just an old buffalo nickel silver quarter uh this video is going to be about fixing this right here i'll um, show you guys how to maybe get in one of these if you got one it's an old compass this one actually works so that was pretty cool um you don't see stuff made like this anymore made out of copper it looks like it's all handmade and stuff uh, world war ii pendant maybe world war one I, I think lieutenant's badge sutures from world war ii sailors pin anyways let's get to this this on the back says uh dr scott's uh electric brush and for some reason it's like some kind of compass or something so it's not working it looks like it got water damage or something in it and this is actually curled over and you, it's curled over the glass so you couldn't get in there but I came up with a sneaky way to get in there move this other stuff aside um, what I did is take a flathead screwdriver and instead of you don't want to crack the glass so what I did is put this on a flat surface right here and this is working because I did it for a little bit so watch this just take your flathead screwdriver and don't push on the glass you're just pushing directly down onto the table and what that's doing is um, opening that overlap that's going over the glass and work your way all the way around it and just keep doing that and work your way you don't want to put any pressure on the glass because you know that's going to shatter it uh, we're going to get inside here and hopefully we're going to be able to restore this fix it i don't know if we're going to have to demagnetize the north or sorry remagnetize um, the north pin i got a giant magnet here all you got to do is rub it on it back and forth back and forth for a little bit it'll remagnetize the north pin and uh compasses automatically find their way to north so let's try to fix this and maybe restore it it's, I'm guessing it's probably at least 70, 80 years old in that era. Could be 100 or more. Who knows? Um, haven't looked it up yet. If, if I'm wrong, correct me at the bottom. Leave a comment. Um, but we're going to get in here and at least restore it and try to make it look good as new. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, we're pretty much um, got it all straightened out. And this thing's old as hell. So I'm going to work the razor all the way around just... I don't want to put too much pressure on the glass. I'm just pushing the copper away from the uh, the overlap that's got it going on. So if you got something like this, I'm just trying to show you guys how to fix it. Really cool antique. Um, just take your time. Just working it, breaking away the seal. It should give any second here. I feel it trying to come out. Nice thick piece of glass they must have used. Yeah see how this goes taking my time there it goes it's ready to give oh, almost had it you can see it just wanting to come out oh come on I just flipped it over and started flicking it and there, it, it wants to come out there's a see that Oh, almost got it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, we got it. Popped open. So, yeah, it is a compass. I couldn't even read it when it was uh, behind that glass. So, it definitely got wet. Looks like this is made out of paper. Um, the pin's all rusted up. I don't even know. if I'll restore it to the best that I can. I want to keep everything original. Um, I'm just going to clean it up and try to set it back on it and hopefully it just uh, finds its way to north <laughs> see what happens I'm gonna have to straighten this paper out too so pretty cool to restore something this old you know keep it going I'm gonna take some sandpaper and try to remove some of that rust on this really rusted up but try to clean it up the best I can um, especially the part that's visible to uh, the people on the outside. So you can just see that rust getting removed. Just giving you an idea how it looks. I'm going to time lapse so you don't have to watch a long video. But, you know, like, it didn't take too long to get that flat again. But you could see the big bulge um, on the other side. But we're going to clean it up the best it's really we can. really rusted up. So what I did is put it in some Coca-Cola. Somebody gave me that idea. And that should clean it off. He said give it about 15 minutes in there. And um, this thing, I straightened it out to the best that I could. Check that out. Um, the side's got some dings on it. The glass, we cleaned the glass up real nice, shined it up. I'm going to keep shining it up a little bit more. 
and also the north pin I'm gonna magnetize it and rub it on it when it's done being um, all rusted up see what happens you can see it just bubbling um, bubbling the rust off so I guess coca-cola is some really cool strong stuff all right, got it all put back together cleaned it up the best I could it's working pretty good you just gotta flick it a couple times it's not perfect but you know what way better than what it looked like before um, looked up on, on eBay and I found out a little bit of research on these things and they were an advertisement for an electric hairbrush that was early in the like it said 1800s but I don't think they had electricity back then or did they maybe they did who knows I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but it's an electric hairbrush that was used for women to maybe it spun or something I don't know what it looked like but this was an advertisement I guess they passed them out it only goes for about 10 to 12 dollars or so you can get one that's fully working if you think it's cool or not but I just want to show you guys how to get into a glass um, sealed compartment. Um, it looks like it was used a lot because here's another one right here. Um, this one works good though. It wasn't wet. It must have been shut. They were side by side probably for 50 to 60 years. Whoever had them collected them. Um, but pretty cool piece. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hopefully this video was interesting to you. Thank you. Bye bye.